Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft does not officially support a vertical taskbar alignment on Windows 11, as you may well know, which has been met with quite a lot of negative feedback. And this is actually a very highly requested feature by a lot of Windows 11 users that Microsoft does reintroduce vertical taskbar alignment in the OS because it's, this is something you can do over on Windows 10 where you can align the Windows 10 taskbar to the left, to the right, or even to the top of your screen. Now, if this is a feature that you are looking out for or would like to try out on Windows 11, I may have good news because Stardock has announced on its blog that it has now made it possible for you to move the taskbar to the side in the latest beta update version of Start 11. Now, we don't normally talk about third-party apps on the channel, but because this is a very highly requested feature um, where obviously users want a left or right vertical taskbar alignment, I thought this warranted its own video. Now, according to um, Stardock, the new version 2.5 gives the ability to use a vertical taskbar on Windows 11. So the vertical taskbar can be placed on the left, as we can see, or on the right of the display and functions, just as you remember from previous versions of Windows, where this configuration was supported according to the announcement for this update by Stardock. They say that to enable um, the new taskbar experience, you need to open the configuration panel, click taskbar, scroll to the taskbar position option and select your, um, your desired configuration. And along with the new vertical taskbar support, according to Stardock, um, the center taskbar buttons with a left aligned start icon is now supported on more than two monitors where previously only two screens were supported. So quite an important update here rolling out with um, Start 11 version 2.5 beta. And vertical taskbars, they say, have been highly requested by the community and Stardock says it's happy to finally check this feature off the backlog. So basically, there we go. And just take note, though, that Start 11 is a premium program. So you have to subscribe to Start 11. And a license for a single installation costs $9.99. So just take note of that. This is not a free program. And you can also download a trial version of Start 11 from Stardock's website to try it free for 30 days before you buy it or uninstall the software. So just take note of that. So there you have it. Just wanted to put it out there. And although Microsoft does not officially support a vertical taskbar in Windows 11, Stardock has announced that it's now possible with the latest beta version of Start 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.